Why keep the Gen 3 Toyota Tacoma? There's a lot of reasons. I'm going to tell you. Let's start right off. First of all, just look at it. It's a classic beauty. You can't tell me that the brand new 2024 Tacoma is going to look so much better than the Gen 3 that we currently have that you just have to go out and buy it. I mean, look at the lines on this truck. It is a sexy truck. Nothing out there beats it, and that's why Toyota has been so dominant for all these years, right? Number one for like 300 years or something like that? Not quite that much, but it's been a while. It's awesome. Next up, we have to pop the hood. Let's go ahead, and by the way, you have to agree that this is one of the biggest reasons to keep the Gen 3 Toyota Tacoma. If you don't, that I'm not exactly sure what you're looking for. Take a look in there. First of all, no snakes, no rats, no mice, I don't think. No, it's been outside, but it has the V6 engine. You're not gonna get that with this new Tacoma. You're gonna get some sort of a four-cylinder turbo. Hopefully it has more power, but I think unless you go with the hybrid version, which, let's face it, I'm not sure when you're ever going to be able to get it. Uh, nothing is going to beat this. It's tried and true. It's proven. Yeah, it's a little bit gutless. We all know that. It's got that throttle lag. But hey, pop a pedal commander in there, and you've got it made. It goes. The modability of it. I mean, you can see just in my truck, and I haven't done a ton of things in here. We've got a customized cold air, or really just an open air intake. I think it looks good. I could be a little bit biased. We've got the aux beam switch system set over there to control all the lights and everything else that I have on the truck. Little TRD oil cap in here. I mean, why not while you're at it? Some hood struts, all the stuff that you really need in here, and I think it's just freaking awesome. Speaking of mods and things, all kinds of things that you can do to this truck. I mean, if you look at the front end of mine, We've got the amber fog lights down there for that square look. We've got the Rob Motive customized grill. Of course, not everybody has a Rob Motive grill. I realize the Heritage or TRD Pro grill is the most popular thing that you can do with the front of the Tacoma, and many people have. The Highline front bumper with a built-in or added, I guess, it had a space for it, but an added LED light bar let you put D-rings on it. I mean, look at that. You can really dress up the front end of this truck. You are not going to be able to do that, not so easily, with the 2024 Tacoma because they have everything integrated. To pop the grill off of that truck, you have to remove basically everything here across the front. So then you're gonna mess around with fender flares, you know, those piano black ones, depending on the trim that you get as well as all the push pins and everything that's inside. I can just imagine how many people are gonna attempt that and end up busting up their truck. Next up, let's take a look inside. You know, there is something to be said for familiarity, right? I mean, this version has been around for years. What is it, five, 10 years, whatever it is, 12 years? You know where everything is. There's going to be a learning curve with this new truck, and the big question is, is everything going to work the same way or as good as it does in this truck? The radio, they've upgraded that, of course, a couple, three years ago, whatever it is. It's awesome. Now, speaking of the radio, some people do complain about the sound of it. You just pop a couple of kicker tweeters up here, and it's easy to do, and you can improve the sound system in this truck. Are you going to be able to do that with the new Tacoma? And I would bet that the sound system in the new Tacoma, at least the lower trim levels, is not going to be any better than this truck. Might even be a little bit worse. You've got the same center console area. It's going to be a bit different. Of course, they did the redesign, so all of this is going to be different. I like being able to get in here and throw my elbow over on that center armrest. I don't know if it's going to be as comfortable as it is in this truck. We shall see. The seats, people talk about them being a bit dated, but I must say 
they're plenty comfortable for me. I fit in between the little bolstering areas in here on the sides and on the bottom. Wouldn't trade those out. The only thing that I've done, in full disclosure, is I did put some seat jackers on just to change that angle a bit. If there's one thing that they can do in the new truck, hopefully they enable you to rotate that seat up a little bit because frankly, the way this one is, even with the 10-way power adjustments there, still drops too much in the front for under thigh support, in my opinion. Let's take a look in the back. One thing I hope Toyota does is keep, and will give us a pull strap for one thing, but keep the under seat storage. That is something that you're obviously gonna lose in the hybrid system because you're gonna have a battery down here. I don't know if that battery is gonna take up the whole area, or maybe just the area over there behind the passenger seat. It seems like a lot of the EV manufacturers like to put them over there. Hopefully, you'll at least have something like this where you can throw, in my case, a million tie-downs because I, I haul so much, you know. The other thing is, is uh, behind the seats. We have a little bit of behind the seat storage. I keep a little bit of stuff back there, nothing extreme. But it's nice to be able to throw things back there, and we have it, of course, on both sides. Hopefully, Toyota maintains that. Again, with this new electric system, or EV system, I've heard that the battery may go back here, or some components of it might. So that means you're going to take up more space here, and then obviously, you're going to lose this storage that we do have. And, honestly, storage is at a premium in the Toyota Tacoma, so you want to maintain as much as you possibly can. I did mention again this pull-down strap. I did add this, in case you're wondering. There are videos on the channel about that, so you can check that out if you're interested. The one area that I would like to see a little bit better in this truck is the leg room in the back. It's not a big deal for me, since I typically don't have people riding back here. But I know it's not comfortable, and if you look at the space you have between the, the front and the back seat, it's not really very much. So unless you're a, a 10, 12-year-old child, you probably don't have a lot of space back there. Moving on to the bed, we hope they keep it dimensionally about the same as what we have now. It is going to be a plastic composite bed, uh, which is what this is, of course. You'll still need a floor mat. That's one of the uh, earliest mods I think you'll be able to add to the truck because it's a simple thing to change for the aftermarket manufacturers, but it is something that you're going to need. One thing I'll be curious about is if Toyota gives us any more storage in this bed. If you recall, we used to have a bigger storage cubby over here. They did away with it for no apparent reason other than cost. Uh, because there's nothing in the way down there. I have added one back in myself. That's really the only thing in the bed that's missing. No reason to dump your old third-gen Tacoma if they do do something like that. It just would be more convenient. Anyway, just taking a look at the third-gen Tacoma. You know, there's just a few reasons why you shouldn't get rid of it. Why you need to keep this truck. The big one is the cost. If you already own the truck, the best truck that you can have is a truck that's paid for, especially with the amount of money that Toyota is asking for this brand new truck. Leave a comment. Let me know if you agree and what are you planning to do? Keeping your third gen or going to dump it as soon as possible once you can put your hands on one of these expensive 2024s? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.